This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. As you can see, I am Luke C in a HGV. This is my HGV and we are on our way to h and and Seven Oaks. Uh, to go get loaded with um, like, I don't know, what, what are they called? Like breeze blocks or something, I don't know. But anyway, how are you? Hopefully you are all okay. I'm a little bit annoyed, I'll tell you why later. I'm actually very frustrated. It happened about 30 minutes ago. Uh, have a think about what it's gonna be. I'm fuming. And I don't think the company is, but maybe the company is as well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we are on our way to H&H, uh, &H, as I've already said. We are rushed for time. I've got no GoPro set up currently. I was going to do a video tomorrow, but I thought I'd start it today. Today's Thursday. I normally do a video on Friday, so I've got no GoPro set up at the moment. They're not charged up or anything. Um, so it's just uh, it's just on this for now, but there will be GoPro footage in this video. Do not fear. The issue we've got currently is that normally the cutoff time is half past four. I've, we're going to be there in five minutes, which is 25 minutes past four. Now, just because the cutoff is half past four, that doesn't guarantee that we're going to get loaded. If they are mega busy and they've got trunks queued up ready to go in, then uh, we will not be loaded today. That won't be the end of the world at all, because I believe all we've got to do in this video is go and tip it in Gloucester, go and get loaded for Monday, and then that's it. So there's, there's really not much to do. So there really isn't a rush for it to be loaded today. But if I do get it loaded today, I then stand a chance of going home tonight. So I might as well try. Uh, I'm not bothered either way, but I'm not just gonna park up early. I'm gonna see if I can get loaded. That's just the sort of person I am. I could have been parked up 45 minutes ago, knowing full well I wasn't gonna get loaded today and then just start again tomorrow morning. But I, I'd rather work, I try and get it on. If not, no biggie. But if I do, it saves me a bit of time tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're only a couple of miles away. Um, what do you think? Get loaded let's find out okay looking here i don't think we're going to get loaded there's loads of trucks here these are all lining up to be loaded uh, they're going to turn us away but we can at least check definitely going to turn us away it's a uh it's a no <laughs> i had to park there because there was nowhere else to park yeah <sighs> dearie 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 so we've got to go around the one-way system, how to get on out. Yeah. Close that up. That's a little bit annoying because one of the forklift drivers come up and he said, one more. And that was the person in front of me, which meant I'm the first one to be denied. Uh, but I am on the list. To be uh, to be loaded first in the morning, so it's not too bad. Uh, we just got to get here first thing in the morning. I think get here by six, they said, and uh, I'll be first on the list. But we tried. We could, we come here. We tried to get loaded. We were just unsuccessful. We just got to go find somewhere to park now. I haven't actually got a clue where I'm going to park. <sighs> okay, all right, we parked up. We are about 15 minutes away. We had to go drive 15 minutes, six and a half miles. We're in an industrial estate. Um, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. I uh, just Googled it. The place I'm at is weirdly named Greatness. <laughs> so <laughs> we're at Greatness Industrial Estate. Probably that's what you call it, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I think the, I think this is gonna be the parking for tonight. Anyway, why aren't I happy? Yeah, I just done a delivery to a site and uh, I was being watched backwards and I was looking out that mirror, looking that way, couldn't see what was behind me this side and uh, hit a wooden fo fence post. Very gently, very gently, but it was enough to push. There's basically this is, is held on to a bar and it bent the bar in. I've actually pulled this out a little bit. It was worse, so yeah. <laughs> I've bent the bar. None of this smashed or anything like this. Actually, yes, it did. It did smash. 
Okay, so we do need new lens cover as well then. New lens cover. Bloody hell. I'm so annoyed at myself. <sighs> Frustrating. I've not caused any damage in ages. I'm just so annoyed. I'm just... I don't, I don't like causing damage. It's not my truck. Some of you are probably like, why, why are you so upset? It's not your truck. So it's, it's pride and it's just <sighs> so annoyed with myself. Big time, big time annoyed. <sighs> Honestly, it just, it was the, it was the lightest of taps. Hardly touched it, hardly touched it. But it bent, it bent it in, as you can see, bent it in there. So annoying. I just, I can't, I can't tell you how upset that's made me. Like, I, I want to cry. <laughs> Call me sad, I don't care, but. <sighs> annoying. Every time I look at it, it just makes me upset. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong, I know accidents happen. It's a working truck. You know, these things are gonna happen, but it's only a month old. I mean, everything's fixable, right? Everything's replaceable. It's gonna cost a bit of money to sort it out, but it, it gets sorted. This, it was originally, I should probably say, so it was actually in the mall. It was rubbing against the tire. And the tyre did this. Um, I had to get a ratchet strap and put it on this bar, tie it to the trailer, and then like literally do it as tight as I can. It, it moved it out just enough. This is setting on level suspensions. This is, this is where it's sitting all the time. It's not touching. Although this is just falling down, which I noticed it wasn't down earlier. So in a moment, I'll uh, take the wind top off and see if I can fix that. It just clips on, I think. It just goes on up there. Not the end of the world either, but I am just so annoyed at myself. It's just absolutely gutting. Absolutely gutting. Okay, good morning everyone. It is the next day, it is 6 a.m. And uh, we're just about to rock up to get loaded today. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be the first one loaded, but it's six o'clock now, so they might already have some lorries in there. I don't know, but whatever. It takes as long as it takes. There's a lorry that right, just went past. Looks like he wants to get loaded from it. He's got a crane on. Most lorries that get loaded from this place normally have a crane on. Followed by flatbed, which is me. Uh, so yeah, let's go see if we can get loaded now. Oh, there's loads of trucks here. 6 a.m. Got told to get here for 6 a.m. Can't even park up. There's loads of trucks here. So, <laughs> we're just gonna have to wait. It is what it is. Like I said, all we gotta do is go get it delivered and then um, go get loaded for Monday. So it's not like we got lots of stuff that needs to be done today, but we're here. That's the main thing. We get loaded when we get loaded. Right familiar sight only this time it's dark <laughs> um right we can pull forward one let's pull forward so it's strange i booked in and the lady said uh you'd have to queue up behind everyone i was like yeah cool no worries walking back to the truck and then the forklift driver came up to me and uh said you were yesterday weren't you said, yeah he goes come on mate straight into you straight in front <laughs> i was like no nah. Okay, so we have poured round. Right, turn on. We poured round to um, to be loaded. We've given our paperwork to the driver who's going to load us, and uh, yeah, we're just about to get loaded. We're actually right next to the Weybridge. We've never got loaded here before. There's the Weybridge there, and all it is is somewhere on the floor. Can't see it. It's dark. It's over there. It's like a roller. You just slowly roll over it. It adds up the weight of each of your axles, so it gives you an axle weight rather than a total weight. And then you know, A, if you're overweight, 
uh, as a whole, and also if your axles are overloaded as well. So. I've only ever been overloaded once. You go back round, they take it off. It's a bit of a pain, but we don't want that to happen really. But um, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna go start strapping up. Anyway, we're um, we're loaded. We're just strapping up now. Slowly but surely. Okay, strapped up. We now need to go get weighed off. There's that little thing I was talking about. Look, so you roll over that slowly and it um, adds up your axle weight. So let's go and do that now. Let's close this up. Let's go. Right, so put in the number plates. Enter, that's my total weight. Gonna print the ticket off. So we're a 43 ton. Obviously we can weigh up to 44. Lovely. Okay, paper received. Get back to the truck, take off all this PPE, and then we can uh, we can get going. As you, as you can see, daylight is now upon us. So nice. Right, let's turn the engine on. Get the aircon on. Okay. So we're plastered in PPE. High vis top off. Fold nicely. I've been told I should fold it more more nicely. So I'm folding nicely and I'm placing placing nicely. There we go. Um, trousers off. Don't worry, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. They can go in the PPE cupboard. So this is a place that requires you to wear long trousers. Okay, next thing, hard hat. That can come off. Don't need the hard hat anymore. That can also go in the PPE cupboard. Ugh. Last but not least, safety goggles, or in this case, reading glasses. Um, you have to wear eye protection here. Now for me, normally, that is these. <laughs> but at um, six in the morning when it's pitch black, wearing uh, sunglasses is not exactly the best thing to do, <laughs> especially if you want to see. So um, yes, has to be um, has to be the reading glasses before we get on a public road. Let's put my phone there. There we go. So yeah, we're finally on our way. It's um, it's ten past seven, so we've been here just over an hour. It's not the end of the world. Um, we should be. Gloucester is actually quite far away. It's a good three-hour drive. Um, I may stop for some breakfast on the way as well. I don't know. Um, so we're looking at like sort of between half ten and eleven, give or take, something like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're not in a rush to get it done. We might be there for a couple of hours as well. It's not going to be a mega early finish. Now, if we got loaded last night, then obviously we would be pretty much turning up to Gloucester around about now, I would have thought, and the day would be a lot shorter. But obviously we didn't get loaded, so we're starting from further away. I am indicating left, mate. I am indicating left. Um... So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll just take it as it goes, take it as it goes. So yeah, we're going to a Travis Perkins in Gloucester. It's one I've been to before, but I haven't actually been to for quite a while. Um, all of my places that I've been to are tracked on Google Maps. So it can tell me the last time I went there was three years ago. Um, or was it four years ago? It might have been four years ago, actually, it said. I was working for JK Transport at the time. It is definitely a place I've been to. I've been there a few times, but not recently. It's one of those sites, last time I went, it was mega, mega busy with their own trucks. Like they would, they would prioritize their own trucks, which is fine. But the trouble is <laughs> they had so many trucks 
that they'd load one, it'd go out and do its delivery, and by the time it finished loading the rest of their trucks, that first truck had come back, so they asked to reload it again. So it was, a, it was a bit of a nightmare. I don't know whether they were just going for a busy period or not, I don't know, but la that was the last time I went there. I was there for hours, and it was purely because I was waiting for their own trucks to be tipped. I was next to be tipped myself, but their trucks come first. So um, hopefully it's not going to be like that today, but if it is, it is. There's not really a lot I can do about it, is it? We just uh, we just sit up and just turn up and, and sit sit quietly if need be. So it's also one of those places where there's a lot of cars parked outside, and I don't think there's really enough room for more than one truck. So we ideally want to be the only truck there when we turn up. But again, it's part of the job. You know, sometimes you're not the only truck there. You just have to deal with it. So there's no point worrying about it. It's just these are these are just like hypothetical things that have happened in the past and could potentially happen today. But uh, we'll cross those bridges when we get there. But yes, we're finally loaded, finally loaded. Okay, so um, I've come up with an idea. I'm not sure, if, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure I'm gonna go ahead with it. But I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well. Um, I want to do some giveaways, some Christmas giveaways on the build up to Christmas, where I give away a prize each and every week. Now these could be prizes like um, driving experiences, driving race cars or indoor skydiving um, or like Silverstone Museum tickets. Been there, it's really good. Like experience days for, for you basically, for a couple, maybe one person, maybe a couple of people, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about giving away one of these experiences every week on the build up to Christmas, like 10 weeks, 10 prizes. Out of my own money, mind you, this is going to cost. It's going to cost me like maybe like a thousand pounds or something, all in all. But I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for all of my viewers. And the only thing you got to do is subscribe to my channel. That's all you got to do to be within the chance of winning. What do you think? Good idea? Good idea or no? I need to think of a way of how to implement it. I'm pretty sure I saw a website before where to enter said competitions, you've got to click subscribe on a button and then take you to YouTube and make sure that you're subscribed and then takes you back and then you can enter the competition. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, what do you think? It'd be completely free to enter. All you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, which don't cost anything. 10 weeks, 10 giveaways on the build up to Christmas. What do you think? Let me know, let me know. And then I might list all 10 like experiences, I don't know what you'd call them, like gifts and then the winner of each week picks the one they want, I was thinking. Or maybe I could do it so that a, each week is a certain gift, and then a, so it's a random winner for, for whatever that gift is. But then I don't know, but they might not then like the gift. I'm just spitballing here, just spitballing. Let me know what you think, but that is something I'm contemplating. Contemplating, let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. <laughs> I'm gonna um, get a little, bit, uh, a little bit further. I don't know, the next time you might see me might be in Gloucester, I don't know. Um, or might be stopping someone for a break. No idea. No idea. Anyway, see you in a little while. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, time for some fuel. We were very low. We were actually, not only was the light on, but we were pretty much on the zero. So we pulled into memory services to uh, top up the fuel. Pretty sure this is a 400 litre tank. Wouldn't be surprised if we put like 370 in, maybe even 380. We'll see. It's a little bit weird that because the last time I put 400 litres in the truck, it nearly didn't start back up. But also, the needle was lower. Yeah, a little bit concerning because the last time I put 400 litres in, the truck very nearly didn't start back up. <laughs> so, I'm hoping it does start fine now. The other thing is, the needle was a lot lower last time round other than now, so, moment of truth. 
yeah, really weird. Because the, the needle was, don't really get me wrong, it was on zero pretty much, but it was higher than what it was last time. But I've ended up putting more litres in. Don't know why that is. Right, onwards, see you in a bit. Oh, lots of golf carts down there. <laughs> anyway, we are pretty much here. Ah, oh, more bloody lights. That's why they're not working. We're gonna go. So, Travis Perkins is here. But it, does, it says to go in this way. So uh, we're going in this way instead. I couldn't see any trucks. But I doesn't mean there isn't any. <laughs> Just because I couldn't see any doesn't mean there isn't actually any. Hopefully we can get that straight in. That would be good. left down here and then here we go Travis Perkins is on the left so I don't know where we're going to park just have to put the hazards on I think cars can get past me what's that mate right side, right side. You say right side? Straight, drive straight up to that red sign, but oh, not okay. too far because that's where they're going. Red side, all right, make noise. Just need to uh, get a bigger swing in. At least we got straight in, that's good. I'm going to turn the dash cam off so you can only see me. Don't want to film too much in here. Lovely, thank you, mate. Lovely, so we're in, straight away. Lovely, lovely. Let's get these off. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do a sawmill to load up on Monday, but I need to confirm. See you in a bit. Right, we are in, straps are off, as you can see. Uh, but literally, literally within a minute or two of, our, of us pulling in, two of their own trucks turned up, so, uh, yeah. They're, uh, they're, they're loading their own trucks up, which is totally fine. As I said, they expected. <laughs> Nothing you can do. But yeah, we're in, just waiting now to be uh, loaded. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Right. Tips. Stra uh, what am I trying to say? Brushed. I was going to say scraped, scrapped. I don't know. We brushed the trailer of the bed. Got our paperwork. Let's get out of here. Lovely. Nice and easy. Um, right, I don't actually know where I'm going. <laughs> Last I heard from the boss, it was back to the sawmill. sawmill. It's not been actually confirmed yet. So, um, we're just going to pull up around here. If there's room. And uh, wait for a phone call or something. Okay, there isn't actually anywhere to uh, to wait. <laughs> so we're gonna have to make process. Progress, I mean. Now, I'm assuming we go right, because we came from the right. So let's assume we go this way. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I can hear another sirens again. Where are these sirens coming from this time? 
yeah so we're just gonna i highly doubt we're getting loaded anywhere in gloucester so it's just a case of just heading somewhere i'm gonna head back to the to the, to the sawmill because as far as i'm aware that's what i was doing next so we we'll head back and hopefully that's the right place <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a fire engine. He's still got his blue lights on. No sirens. He really ought to be just overtaking all this traffic now. Go on. Ah, oh, he said thank you to me. Um... Yes. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm just driving. I'm just driving for the sake of it right now. Um, we're, head we're heading back towards Swindon. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to have to go. Right. So we are indeed in the sawmill. We are actually almost loaded. This is uh, only a few more um, pallets to go on. So we should be here too much longer. It's, uh, well, it's only half past one in the afternoon, so time we get back to the yard, it's only going to be like ten past two, something like that. So yeah, we might actually be sent off to go do something else, I'm not sure yet. I've already been told that this is uh, for someone else. I'm still annoyed about that. So I'll be dropping this trailer in the yard. So there is a good chance yet that I'll be hitching to another trailer and going to get another trailer loaded, but I don't know yet. Waiting to find out. But now we just, uh, just stuff up this load and get back to the yard, stop the trailer. Okay, that's it. Put you in there. Lovely jubbly. Right, we are now fully loaded. We're just waiting for the paperwork. That is uh, the load that we've got on. Lovely. So, we're just going to uh, go wait in the truck now. We're just waiting for paperwork to be uh, sent out to us. And then we will crack on back to the yard, drop the trailer, and then uh, see what we're doing from there. Right, we are back in the yard now. I've just stopped the trailer. Uh, just having a bit of a tidy up in the truck, putting my jammy dodgers away. <laughs> um, got to do some paperwork. Just tidy up at the inside of the cab a little bit. And then I think we're going to start work on fixing the truck. Yeah. Take your trailer. Right, we have uh, bent the bar back so it's all fixed properly now, working properly. Just got to go get a lens cover. So pop into our VK, go get a lens cover from Swindon. Obviously, this does actually constitute as drive time. Uh, so I need to do a manual entry when I come back to say I drove my car. But quite frankly, yeah, it'd just be quicker. Yeah, boy. Yes. Okay, we are in Iveco um, Southwest Trucker Van. Let's go and get the sales part. Right, we got the part. Just the lens cover. To cover the uh, to replace the smash one, so let's jump in the car and go back to the yard. Yeah, that looks about right. Lovely. Even comes with like rubber seal on resealant as well. Look, to seal all the water in. Hopefully we don't need that. Hopefully we just use the one that's already in there. Anyway, let's get it off. Right, that one off.
is washed. Just got hitched back up to the trailer now. Yeah, so just gonna put the airlines on, Susie's on, then the number plate, and then we're done. Last but not least, lovely. And now the airlines are on, number plate, and then we can go home. Okay, we're just gonna put the suspension back down to level. We raise it to put the legs up. So there we go, it's no longer buckled in. It's not perfect. All we've really replaced is the light cover. That's a brand new light cover. Um, the pot, the pot, the ugh, I don't know what's up. The bar itself, what we've done is we put a ratchet strap on and we've yanked it out. So now it's road legal. We have ordered a new bar. We have ordered a new one of these as well. We've cut off the remaining flappy thing. Um, so it's far from pretty, but it is road legal. <laughs> it's all on, it's all secure. None of it's going anywhere. And um, the other parts are on order. Now, I don't know exactly how much it's all costed. Um, but it's a few hundred quid. <laughs> so I've um, I've cost the company a few hundred quid. Anyway, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you, you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm um, going to try and go a week next week without actually damaging the truck. That'd be nice. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's a working truck. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.